In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use two Steam accounts on the same computer. If you're someone who manages multiple accounts, perhaps for different game libraries or family sharing, this guide is perfect for you. Let's get started. First, open your Steam app. If you don't have it already, make sure you download and install it from the official Steam website. Once it's up and running, you'll see the familiar Steam interface. Next, you'll want to click on the login button. You can find this at the top right corner of the Steam app. Go ahead and click that, which will bring you to the login page. Here, you'll need to enter your account name and password. This information is what identifies you to Steam, so make sure you type it in correctly. Once you've double checked your entries, click on sign in. Once signed in, you'll be on your Steam homepage, which is where all the magic happens. Now direct your attention to the top left of the screen where it says Steam. Click on this and a drop down menu will appear. From this menu, you'll want to select change account don't worry, this won't log you out completely, it's just preparing us for adding another account. You'll be prompted with a checkbox that you'll need to tick, confirming your action. After this, click continue. At this point, the Steam app will restart. Don't panic if the screen temporarily goes blank or the app closes and reopens. This is normal and indicates that Steam is preparing itself for a new account login. Once Steam restarts, look for the add account icon. This is your gateway to signing in with a separate account. Click this icon, which will again take you to a login screen. Here, you will input the credentials for your second Steam account. Once logged in, the two accounts will essentially coexist on your machine, allowing you to switch between them as needed. And there you have it, a simple and straightforward way to manage multiple Steam accounts on the same computer. This method is particularly useful for those who have different game libraries or need to access separate accounts without the hassle of logging in and out repeatedly. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Now that you know how to do this, you'll have more flexibility and control over your gaming experience. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Happy gaming!